Hey everybody, we're talking about Moringa Leaf and its effect on cancer. Let's dive right in. We're talking Moringa Leaf and cancer. As always, to start, I am not a doctor. Anything I say should not be taken as direct medical advice for your situation. We are just sharing from our experience uh, with my wife Rachel's stage four colon cancer, what we felt like we had to learn on our own cancer healing journey. I'm gonna share those things with you. All right, just a few things about Moringa as a plant, um, separate from its effect on cancer. So Moringa is a plant originally from India, and there's actually 13 different species of Moringa. Uh, but the most common one and the one that we find um, in, as a food source or in supplement form is the Olifera species of Moringa. Uh, Moringa is full of a ton of different vitamins and minerals, specifically iron, uh, vitamins A, and really high in vitamin C. Um, and it's cram packed with essential amino acids. So as something that we add to our normal diet, this can be just a really effective and efficient fuel source for us. But as it relates to cancer, that's really what we're here to talk about, uh, there are a number of studies that have been done into Moringa and its specific effect on cancer. Let's look at a few of the specific studies that have been done. So we'll look at a 2013, a 2014, 2015, and a 2017 published study. So starting with 2013, a Moringa leaf lung cancer study was published in BMC Complementary and Alternative Medicine, and it showed that Moringa leaf extract killed lung cancer cells. That's what the study showed uh, that was published in that, in that journal. In 2014, another study showed that Moringa leaf caused lung cancer's tumors to reduce in size, specifically. In 2015, the International Journal of Molecular Science showed that Moringa leaf affected pancreatic cancer cells, liver cancer cells, colon cancer cells, and leukemia cells. And then most recently in 2017, the Asian Pacific Journal of Cancer Prevention claimed once again that Moringa leaf can reduce cancer cell growth. So, so stop the, the growth of cancer cells. So essentially, Moringa has a, a number of different cancer preventive properties, as well as having an anti-proliferative effect on cancer cells. It also, we talked about apoptosis a lot, it also induces apoptosis in cancer cells in these studies. So these are the, the things that these studies were looking for and the results that they saw. All right, so finally, what I wanna talk about is um, Moringa as a food and supplement. So first off, always discuss the right dosage with your doctor, especially if you're talking about using it as a supplement. Um, but you can also incorporate Moringa powder into smoothies, um, curries, it's actually a pretty common thing that be found in, in different curries, but it's also great in smoothies. You can um, take it as a pill, obviously, in supplement form, and you can also drink it as a tea. Essentially, it tastes pretty similar to a green tea, but it's Moringa powder instead, uh, and it's really good for you and just an easy thing to incorporate. So we incorporate uh, Moringa leaf in every cancer box that we send out, and it's something that Rachel takes on a regular basis. Um, I take it too and, and drink it in tea form in particular, and so it's a pretty simple thing to consider adding to your cancer fighting plan. And that's why we're talking about the science and studies and research done that supports the claims that Moringa leaf has a benefit to your body in your fight against cancer. If you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, we'll talk to you soon.